Here at SEL, we saw that we really needed to look at a whole new generation of automation equipment. Power system engineers have done some innovative things with existing technology, but still, they're constantly tasked to find more efficient and economical means of distributing power. Well, what we've been working on is the SEL 3530 Real-Time Automation Controller, or RTAC. We haven't just taken a bunch of off-the-shelf boards, thrown them into a chassis, and then put a bunch of ribbon cables together. It's got a single printed circuit board with an integrated power supply. The idea here is we want to build a bulletproof hardware that we can install in a substation and leave there for 20 years. We not only develop hardware to the standards that are required by utilities, but we go well beyond that. We do that on our relays, we do it on all the rest of our communication processors, and we've done that same type of testing with the RTAC. We actually test our equipment to meet these standards. That's a lot different than just saying that you design your equipment to meet these standards. It's a big difference. When people start using the RTAC, the first thing they see is the Accelerator RTAC software. And it's the only piece of software you need in order to configure the entire RTAC. The way we've done that is through a view that we call the tag processor. Essentially, all you have to do is select the tags that you want to send to SCADA and then copy and paste them right into the tag processor. We also built the tag processor so that it was compatible with Microsoft Excel. You don't have to retype a single name. It cuts down the opportunity for making typing errors and it makes your job so much quicker and easier. But you also have more advanced applications where you want to take information from that database, perform logic on it, and react based on that logic that you programmed. And then we combine the ease of use software with the most powerful logic engine that we've ever put in an SEL device. So one of the things that we needed to look at for the RTAC was building user security right into the box. So what we've done is make all of your security information and user information available to the logic processor and SCADA communications, just like the information coming from the IEDs and relays in the substation. Additionally, the web server built right into the RTAC provides a window into system status and logging, which is a real savings of time and energy. So engineers are now faced with a lot of smart grid objectives. Smart grid is really about making the power system work in a more efficient and automated way. You know, you have synchrophaser data that you can use throughout your system to better protect your system and monitor your system and react to changing conditions. But you can also time align that information in order to have wide area measurement and control on a power system. So we think the addition of synchrophasers to the RTAC is a really powerful feature. The way we see it, smart grid goes way beyond just a smart meter. Uh, we're talking about smart system protection. When we see customers get their first look at the RTAC, the most common thing we hear is, wow, you didn't just do an evolutionary change, you've revolutionized what communication processors are and how they work. The RTAC platform is architected such that it'll be a good foundation for us to continue to build other products from, whether those are software applications or additional hardware applications. We're just excited to see the customers take advantage of it to make their substations and their power system work more efficiently and more economically.